Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can install O3 on your computer. And the first thing that we need to do for this is we need to install Python. I've already downloaded the installer here and the download link will be in the video description. So we are going to start the installer. And then here on the first screen we select at Python 3.7 to pass and then install now. Press yes here. And as you can see, I'm doing this on Windows, but the steps should be relatively similar on different operating systems. So if you're using macOS, for example, you should still be able to install O3 based on this tutorial. Okay, now Python is installed, so we can close this window. And the next thing we need to do is we need to open a command line. And on Windows, we're going to use PowerShell. And the equivalent on Mac would be Terminal. So if you're using Mac, search for the app Terminal. And now we need to install O3. And to do this, we type pip install and O3. And press enter. And if we can, now we can see O3 is installing. So a bit of context that pip is a packet manager provided by Python with which we can install different Python modules. And O3 is, is one of these Python modules. But if you're using Python for different things, for example, for data analysis, you could also install different Python modules with pip. Okay, now we're just going to have to wait a couple of seconds. Now O3 finished installing, and the next thing we need to do is we need to create a folder in which we want to store O3 files. So I'm just going to create a folder here on the desktop, and I'm going to call it O3. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to navigate to this folder in our command line. And for that we need the path. And on Windows we can get it by just clicking here in the Explorer and it will display us where this folder is located and we can just copy this. And then we go to our command line and we press CD, which is short for change directory. And then uh, paste the path here and press enter. And now uh, we have successfully navigated to our Otri folder and we can start a new project by typing Otri start project and then whatever we want to call this project. So I'm just gonna call it test project here enter and it's asking us if you want to include the sample games. So the sample games are a couple of pre-programmed experiments that are provided by the O3 developers and the first time you install O3 I would suggest that you choose yes here um, because they can serve as a reference for you to figure out how a normal O3 program looks like. Later on if you develop your own experiments I would suggest you press no here because they are just gonna clutter your O3 folder. But for now I'm gonna choose yes. And now the project folder was created and we can look that here in our O3 folder we have a new folder called test project and we can see there are already a couple of experiments in, these, in this folder. We have a public goods game, we have a um, dictator game, different things. Um, and now the last thing is we want to test if this actually worked. So we're gonna change into this folder times cd and then the name of the folder. And now we're going to start an O3 development server. Just the command O3 dev server. And then we can see that no issues occurred and we can look at look at the sample games basically by copying this link here into our browser. So it's localhost colon 8000. And now we can see yeah, a couple of the sample games are enabled and we could try out the survey and see how it works. So we have the survey app now. Okay, that was all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.